Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Thank you guys so much for joining me for today's Bible verse. Today, guys, we are privileged to be reading from the book of Joshua, specifically chapter 1, verse 19. And the book of Joshua goes as follows, guys. Have I not commanded thee, be strong and of good courage, be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee wheresoever thou goest. Um, so here's let's go ahead and get into the translation of that, guys. Now, basically, what they're trying to say here is simply this. At the start of the book of Joshua, Moses has died, and there is a feeling of fear in all of the Israelites because that was their leader for so long. I mean, Moses was the one who freed them from Egyptian slavery um, with the guidance of God. So God commands Joshua to not be afraid, to trust in him. Because the Lord will always be with him, although it might not feel so direct or clear, God has done the same for all of us. By sending his son to earth to live, die, and reborn for us. So go out to love the Lord and the people, serve the Lord and the people, leave everything we own to our one true Lord. And as of this goes back, guys, right here, it says, so go out to love the Lord and the people. That's That was that, that amendment that Jesus Christ made when he came. And he said, you know, you need to love each other the same way that I love you. Okay. Um, it's not officially the 11th commandment though but that basically you may as well treat it as such because that's directly from the mouth of jesus christ himself um and that's and that's hard to do guys that's hard to always walk around and say well you know i know jesus is with me, is with me nothing's gonna happen or even if something happens it's for the best or whatever um as human beings we don't like to relinquish control but the first step in that process guys is to understand that we don't even really have control to begin with right i mean freak accidents happen every day and you don't have the slightest the, the slightest clue that it's going to come your way right um i think i remember a few years ago i saw a couple of pictures of in china people were just driving and a highway literally collapsed on them do you have no idea when it's your time and you're definitely not in control guys so always know that you have to walk with god to have that peace in your heart regardless of what happens god is working in your life guys so let's go ahead and move on to the prayer and today's prayer guys you know that you're always welcome to pray with me but if not listen that's fine i will pray for you i'll pray for your family i'll pray for your friends your health and your safety and that you have success in all endeavors that you partake in as in accordance with god's will however what i will pray for most is that you decide that you want to have a relationship with our lord and savior jesus christ and feel the same peace in my heart after he transformed my mind heart and soul by infusing me with the holy spirit hey guys so Abba Father, you stand with us even when it seems that we are alone. Give me the courage to stand up and hate evil, to not feel discouraged in dark times, and to be faithful even when others' faith wavers. It is only through you that I will find the way, the truth, and the life. I submit myself totally to you, wondrous God, and it is in your name that I pray. Amen. Amen, guys. Thank you guys all so much for joining me for today, guys. I know that this is something that a lot of you already knew, but if you didn't already know it, please give the video a thumbs up. It would really help a lot. Uh, just broke 600 subscribers, guys, so we're, I'm ecstatic about that. On the road to 1,000, uh, slow but steady pace, man, and everything in God's time and everything in God's name, guys. So as I always tell you guys, man, please, please, please be safe, be good, be blessed, and I will see you guys when I see you. God bless each and every one of you, and peace.